been doing all this time? I do recall thinking things were a little noisier than usual yesterday. Now I know why. <laughs> Strange as it may sound, I suppose I owe the Duke my thanks. After all, if not for his invitation, we wouldn't have been able to find each other like this. You want to know where Elise is, right? She's not on this ship, I'm afraid. I can't say for sure, but I believe she's been taken to the same place as my parents. I'm sure it isn't news to you that my mother, father, and Cedric have been imprisoned somewhere. And apparently, they've chosen Elise to be my family's attendant. So it's likely wherever they've been taken, she's right there with them. <laughs> I can hardly blame you. I feel exactly the same way, even. That was Duke Cayenne's decision. I believe he's using me to suppress potential rebellion in areas occupied by the Alliance by having me address the people and calm them down. I don't especially mind doing it, honestly. It's a simple enough task. People all across Erebonia are uneasy about this war. And as princess, I should do what's within my power to help calm their nerves. Yes, but... Oh, why even bother? You see through everything, don't you, Reen? Anyway, putting my feelings aside... Uh, what do you plan to do now? I presume you don't intend to actually do whatever Duke Cayenne tells you to. I see. That wasn't your fault, Reen. Well, um, yes, I did. As your honorary little sister, I order you to get a hold of yourself! I know Elise far better than you think I do. In fact, I'd even go as far as to say I know her better than you. Reen, she's already told me so much about what happened eight years ago. She told me about how that snowy day was what inspired you to take up the sword. She told me how traumatic that moment was for you. How what happened stays with you even now. 